Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown.online. I hope you're doing good. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below. And today I have a Cubase quick tip for you. I want to show you how to use some analog gear in to Cubase. Um, this is something you can do with any type of analog gear you own. Uh, it could be a reverb, could be a delay, a compressor, an EQ, whatsoever. Uh, in my case, what I have here is a the Drummer 1960, which is a vacuum tube compressor and a preamp. Uh, what I like to do is to use the compressor part of the unit in my mix when I have the chance. Um, so I'm going to show you how I managed to do so in Cubase. So let's go and take a look. So now to do this, you'll need a sound interface that has multiple outputs. Um, so the first thing you'll uh, need to do is to go into your VST connections window um, and click on the external effects tab on top. Um, then um, add external effects and so just click on that uh, on that tab here, and I'm just going to name that as compressor. I'm going to keep that stereo since my compressor is, uh, is a two-channel uh, compressor, and I'm going to use it as a stereo effect. So my ascend configuration is going to be stereo, and same for the return configuration. So now the routing part. Um, I am going to send my signal uh, from my output, from our sound interface output. Uh, I'm going to choose output 3 and 4. And my return bus, so now the signal coming back from my compressor back into Cubase, um, the way I did it in my system, um, is through input 9 and 10. Okay, so now I'm sending my, my signal out by output 3 and 4, and it's coming back uh, through input 9 and 10. Um, now I can close this window and go into uh, to my mixer here. So what we have here is a just a, a drum take, a multi-track drum take. Okay, very simple. Um, so basically nothing is mixed, so there's no effects whatsoever. Okay, so now let me show you how that works. Very simple. So now we're gonna use my compressor um, as an insert on the on the drum bus. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on insert, and now that I added the uh, the compressor into the external uh, effects um, tab, um, uh, the external plugin option is uh, is available into my list of uh, available plugins. Um, so I am going to select the compressor out of, out of that list. And now this is what I get. Um, so there's three settings here. So um, let's go in the with the send gain uh, settings. So basically that uh, will send the, this is the amount of uh, signal you're sending to the compressor and the return is what's coming back uh, into your, uh, your Cubase. Now for the delay option here, very simple. Uh, you just need to click, okay, this button here. So this will calculate the time it takes for the signal to go into your analog gear and back into Cubase. And then it's gonna readjust the delay compensation in Cubase. All right, so now let's go and have a listen to the, uh, uh, the compressor on the drum bus. I'm gonna go and adjust the threshold. Okay, so I'm just going to bypass this. I'm just going to readjust the uh, return gain so I can level match what's going on here. Okay, so now there's too much compression, okay, but it's only to show you how I, I managed to, uh, to add my analog compressor as an insert. Uh, in Cubase. So now to use that as a send effect, very simple. You just create yourself an effects channel track or a NOx, and uh, you just uh, insert the same plugin here. Okay. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag my effect uh, into my effects channel track, and now I have it into that uh, effects track. So now my the name of my effects channel track is compressor, and I uh, I just send the uh, signal to that. Uh, FX channel track basically. Okay, now we're going to listen to the compressor uh, signal here. Okay, so this is without any direct signal. 
Now I over compressed it since I'm doing some uh, parallel compression. Um, so let's blend this with the direct signal now. So there you go. All right, guys, so this is it for this Cubase tip. I hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to visit my website at mixdown.online. Get on my mailing list. And I'll send you a lot of free stuff like multi-track sessions, a free tutorial video, an ebook, all this for free. So until next time, see you.